with an injured Evgeny Malkin out until optimistically the third round. We're going into the playoffs. Short, one of our biggest key pieces. We know this team. It's been a little while since they've done this, but this here's this team for quick review. We got Jason Zucker, Sidney Crosby, and Patrick Hornquist. This line pulled it together later on in the season. They're playing well. Second line, I got Jake Gensel, Nick Bukestad, and Brian Russ. Bukestad filling in for that center role for Malkin. Let's hopefully let's hope he can click. Third line, Evan Rodriguez, Jared McCann, and Andrew Shaw. We playing more of a defensive line, but let's see if Rodriguez can go on a bit of a run. That would be great to see. Last but not least, Brandon Tanev, Teddy Bluger, and Zach Ashton Reese. The, the energy line to round her off. On defense, we got Chris Letang on the left side in his, uh, in his preferred shot. But Chad Ruedel as his top pair defenseman. We got Brian Dumlin, John Marino, Marcus Pedersen, and Jeff Petrie. This defense, depending how we play in the first round, this defense can be shaken up a lot. We got a lot of people who can play top four, which makes me happy. And in net, we got good old Matt Murray and backup Pavel Fransus. Who do not play as well coming to Pittsburgh, but he's there if we need him. Horace Healthy Scratches, Tim Heed, and Sam Lafferty, who hopefully won't have to see won't have to see the bench. But that could either mean good or bad. Now we are up against the Philadelphia Flyers. What is a at least 10 game point streak Philadelphia Flyers team look like it ran off the season hey Mike Hoffman to start it off to start it off Mike Hoffman Sean Couturier and Jakob Voracek second line James Van Riemsdyk Claude Giroux Travis Konechny third line Joel Faraby Nolan Patrick Oscar Limbaum good job kicking cancer's ass buddy and fourth line, Morgan Frost, Kevin Hayes, Scott Lawton. This team is absurdly deep. This is an amazing team we are up against. They can roll four lot. They have two first lines and two second lines. They're a good team. They're a good team. On defense, it doesn't get any better for us. With Ivan Provorov and Shane Gossespair. Travis Sandheim. Not Sandheim, Sandheim. Matt Niskanen. Robert Haig. And Travis Hamanick. Yeah, that's a... Oh, boy. And in that, kind of hot. Is their starting goalie with Felix Sandstrom as their backup. And you know I'm terrified. Carter Hart gets injured and Sandstrom comes in and steals the job. Because this game sims so awkwardly. Healthy scratches. Philippe Myers. Nikolai Abekubel. And Chris Stewart. I said Nikolai. Nicholas. I don't know why I said Nicholas. N I Nicholas. That's your name. Nicholas. Love you, buddy. Okay. We're going to get slapped. This is going to be a brutal series. Oh boy. I got a lot of rivalries. I mean, you got you got the Minnesota, Chicago, Dallas, Colorado. You could classify that maybe as a rivalry. Uh, Vancouver, Winnipeg, a good old Canadian matchup. Any Canadian matchup's a rivalry. Calgary and Anaheim, which that's a bad matchup for Calgary. If you know history, so, so is Chicago for Minnesota. Uh, in the Eastern Conference, we got Florida and New York. Very interesting. Tirana and Detroit. Carolina and Washington, the rematch of 2019. Us and Philly. Oh, this is, this is going to be a grueling series. It's out of wilkes Bear. We're just getting ready. Just getting ready down in wilkes Bear. 
Oh my goodness. Alright. Why is Churchman on the lineup? What the? Oh. That's quite understandable. P.O. Joseph's up. He might have already been a 74. It's been a while since I've done this. It's been a little while since I've done this. Love you, Emil. God, I love him. Please follow his Twitter account if you don't. He's pretty funny. All right. In Philly. Game one. The 2020-2021. That's a mouthful. Playoffs. Okay. Oh. Force a habit. Force a habit. First period. <laughs> 19 shots. <sighs> Oh, that's great. 19 shots, second period. Well, at least we only gave up nine. And Crosby cuts the lead to one. Jesus Christ, Jack, Jakob Borchex, has he got a hat trick? No, he's, God, that first line. They have all, all four goals. What did I say? This is going to be a cruel series. Nolan Patrick spits in our wounds, throws salt in the wound, as Crosby does not like being tormented by Philly. But Sean Couturier is just... Whew, that's the sound of my head exploding just from this game right now. Mike Hoffman. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just... Jared McCann just... We scored five goals and lost. This is a playoff game. We scored five goals and lost. I think I'm going to shake up the defense a little bit. Because uh, Latang and Ruweedle didn't do very well together. Matt Murray, what was that? What in God's name was that performance? 825. 825. Okay. Hi, Ruweedle, buddy. All right. Do the money pair. Throw Petrie up there. But Rue Weedle, Pedersen, who's the only plus. Actually, same, same with Pet Petrie. Do that. Do I want to shake up the bottom six a little bit? Or minus one, zero, minus one. It's not the bottom six's fault. I mean, that was a piss poor performance, Brian. Hate to break it to you. You've said it. Three points, it was a minus two. This second line did diddly squat. The one time Nick's pukes that decides to have a good game, we're just like, no, nah, not allowed. Not allowed. Game two. Let's make a save. Hey, Murray, make, make a save. How about that? You know what? The coach's tip for this game. Make a save. First period. Oh my god, it's a good start. We didn't give up 19 shots in the first period. Claude Giroux leads off scoring, but Zucker and Horquist finally give us a lead. Horquist with only 11 seconds left. Nice. Don't worry. Giroux ties it because what's a defense? Power play goal by Giroux. God. Okay, another power play opportunity for Philly. We kill it off, thankfully. Was there any power play goals last game? I didn't see any. I'm probably not remembering correctly, but... Power play opportunity for us. Can we strike? No, we can't, because that's for chumps. Are we going to get a shot off? There we go. We get to see some overtime hockey, fellas. Alright, Philly leads the shot clock. 33-30. to 30. 
And power play opportunity for Philly. It's a long one. We kill it off. Nice. All right. Found a while. Oh my, we were both racking up shots. Another power play for Philly. Who's taking all these penalties? We are in double overtime. And everyone knows the rules. You count to five. And by the time you hit five, someone has scored. One Shakim. There we go. Patrick Hornquist is doing his thing right in front of the net there. Right there. Annoying kind of hot. Love it. You love to see it. That's a great scene. Unlike that tough scene in round uh, in game one. I guess. What? Okay. So I literally said Chicago and Anaheim are bad matchups for Calgary and uh, Minnesota. What's going on? That's not correct. Yeah, Toronto's got two game leads. So does Florida. So does Dallas. These are strange times. Alright, cool. Orcos has six points. Jesus God, that first line. Alright, first period game three. Andrew Shaw. Nice deadline pickup. Scores a big goal for us. Sidney Crosby pots one on the power play. Second period, Joel Fairby. Fairby cuts the lead to 1 26 to 18 on the shot clock. Us. Looks like Chris Letang. Nice assurance goal. Good, good. Get one more. Let's get one more, guys, and be up by three. Patrick Hornquist listens as we are four to one. Power play opportunity for Philly as they don't connect. But Claude Giroux gets one right after. And then Mike Hoffman. Okay, guys, let's stop the bleeding. Oh, God. And Teddy Bluger with the empty net to seal the deal. Oh, almost a collapse by Murray, but thank goodness it wasn't. Good offensive showing by the boys. Good offensive showing. And we are going into game four with a two, two to one lead in the series. Dallas has swept Colorado. Dang. Can Colorado win their division? Dang. Well, they tampered it. They pulled the Tampa maneuver. All right, game four. Can we go up through to one? I would love to see that. You love to see it. First period. Brandon Tanev gets to work and Brian Rush shortly after, near the end of the period. Nice. Second period. Crosby, power play goal. Jared McCann going to get us up by four. Oh my goodness, we've, we've had a nice lead for ourselves. Let's play a nice defensive game to finish her off. Or just keep up the pressure. But don't make those risky chances. Looking at you, Latang. Five minutes left, I would be safe, but Edmonton blew a three-goal lead with three minutes left in regulation as we shut them out in game four and are up three to one in the series. You love to see it. Unless you're a Philly fan or a fan of any other team. Just people hate the Penguins, which is understandable. Dumoulin is healthy. Good job, buddy. As Carolina wraps up Washington. And we are probably going to have to go through. If, if we win, we're going to have to go through them. And uh, like I told you in previous episodes... Carolina has a knack for making random deep playoff runs. But they do it very rarely. They'll make the playoffs go to at least the third round. Carolina's so strange, I tell you. First period, game five back in Philly. It is nothing, nothing on the clock. On the clock. On the scoreboard, 13-7 to in shot. Second period, Claude Giroux. Another power play goal for him. But Jared McCann's going to tie it up shortly after. 23 to 17 on the shot clock as we go into the third period. Oh boy, this is a big one in Philly. This Patrick Hornquist is going to get us up by one. Patrick Hornquist is playing some of his best hockey, but Mike Hoffman's going to tie us up. Tie us up at two. Patrick, you know what? Whatever happens here, Patrick Hornquist is playing some of his best hockey right now. 
some of his best hockey. We trade power play opportunities and both kill him off. As the waning minutes, we will be going into more overtime to decide who's going to take another game of the series. Overtime hockey begins. Philly is leading the shot clock as Claude Giroux is really just being a thorn in our side. He is being a thorn in our side as Brandon Tana gets injured. That's just absolutely fantabulous. That's absolutely fantabulous. Sam Lafferty goes in. How do you do in face-offs? Buddy Bluger's the center. There's no doubt about that. Bluger is the center. Uh, oh my goodness. We are, we really... We need more production from that. From the... Eh. We need more production from Russ. That's who we need. McCann with big three goals. We need... Other than McCann, we need more production in that bottom six. Uh, Tang are doing good. Petrie and Marino are doing good. And Pedersen and Ruedel are not doing good. Ruedel continues that up. I might consider Kimmy Boy, who uh, got unconsidered really quickly this year. Timmy Boy. My, my, my sweet child, Timmy. Game six. Back in Pittsburgh. As Minnesota had ended the Blackhawks, but don't worry, at least something's going right because Anaheim just won three straight against Calgary. Vancouver and Winnipeg go to a game seven, and so do the Panthers and uh, the Rangers. But Toronto knocks out Detroit four to one, and uh, let's see, let's see if we can join them. Let's see if we can enjoy enjoy them. Yes, see if we can join them. All right, first period, game six, back in Pittsburgh as we play right nice in the home crowd. Marino, power play goal from Gensel, and another goal from Sidney Crosby. We lead 14-7 to on the shot clock. Second period, shorthanded goal from Andrew Shaw. Nice. And, but Jakob Borchek is going to get at least one on the board for Philly. 22-16 to 16 in the shots. Philly needs a big period here as they start off with the power play. And they don't connect. That could be big. That could be very big as we get a power play opportunity and Jake Gensel connects. Two power play goals in the same game. Power play opportunity for Philly. They kill it off. Power play opportunity for us. We connect. Chris Letang. More power play hockey for us as we... Take out the Philadelphia Flyers in round one in six. Genuinely didn't think we would do it. But that that is uh that's pretty good. Uh, that is pretty good. Uh was that a five minute major to end the third? Not end the third, but yeah, it was Mike Hoffman, a major. So I noticed that was going on for a while. That was going on for a while. Me ooh. That was a crap shoot for Philly. You love to see it. You hate to see that. This is a tough scene. Oh no. We are doomed. The Doomlin is dead. Okay. Yeah, we got a problem. We got a mucho grande problem. There, uh, what does our power play look like? Why is Petrie nowhere in our special teams? Here's what I'm going to do. Dim Heed, you're going to come in down here. Uh, Petrie, you're going to come out and put in Ruweedle here. Petrie will go up with Latang, but I'll play around with it and see what I can get. Petrie and Marino are playing really well together, so I'm going to leave them. Ruweedle as been iffy. We'll do heed. I'll do. Uh, should I do? We'll try heed and Latang. You know, maybe. Maybe. It was rough stretch for heed. Rough, 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 rough stretch for Tim Heed, but hopefully him and Latang can find some chemistry, which would be very strange. 
Matt Murray has yanked up that save percentage up to a 919 after a dud in game one. He's really bounced back incredibly for us, as thankfully Franzus hasn't hit the net yet. That's a good sign to see, but Jake Gensel, he had a big performance last game. Brian Rust didn't. Okay. Yeah, Shaw, Shaw stepped up. You know, it's Shaw and Bluger, they, they stepped up. Waiting for the other couple of other guys, but you got to expect that. Got to expect that as any other series. Anaheim comes back down two games to none and beats Calgary. Who will they be playing in the second round? Who? Well, we're playing Carolina, but it looks like Dallas and Minnesota, Vancouver and Anaheim, which if you know from history is a bad matchup for Vancouver. Us, Carolina, and Florida, and Tirana. Patrick Hornquist is leading the team, and I would assume the league, with 15 points. Because what is logic? An aging Patrick Hornquist, for some reason, has regained his scoring touch. Alright, we saw them last season. What does this Carolina team look like now? They made any big changes? Let's see. I wouldn't remember, as Taylor Hall's on the Ducks. That's weird. That is strange. No big change. Ah, uh, there's a few. First off, we start with Tiro Teravainen, the Finnish guy. Sebastian Ajo, the inferior one. The best Sebastian Ajo is the defenseman, but I'm probably going to pay for that now. Uh, and Andre Svechikov, good old Svechy boy. Second line, Ryan Dezingle, Martin Nakosh, Nito Niederreiter. Third line, Carl Soderberg, who I guess was brought in as a free agent. Vinny Trocek and Derek Broussard, who I also assume was a free agent signing, who's playing really well. Third line, Michael Ferlin. Stay, go, he went back to Carolina. I assume got traded. Okay, Michael Ferlin. Uh, Morgan Geeky. And Brock McGinn. They're not as offensively talented as Philly, but doesn't mean they can't win. Sammy Vodnin, Dougie Hamilton as the top pairing, which is still absurd. Jacob Slavin, Brett Pesci, Brady Shea, and Hayden Flurry. In net, good old Peter Morazic and James Reimer, as Morazic is not playing well. Jake Gardner is out injured, as they have Warren, Warren Fogel. Jordan Stahl, and Miku Koivu is a hurricane. Uh, did you play anywhere? Nope. Just care. I don't like that. I, I absolutely despise that. So, this is a strange team. Well, I, I say that, but they're not really that strange. I just say that because Sammy Votman... And Dougie Hamilton are the first pairing. That means when they're on the ice, they basically have five forwards. Defense is optional. God, that's strange. But yeah, that first line, they're playing really well. Uh, second line, more to be desired. I mean, Derek Broussard in the third line is killing it. And fourth line is doing fourth line things. I don't think you guys more with Carolina. We, we, I think we got the matchup advantage, but... You can, never, you can never underestimate the Hurricanes in the playoffs. They will surprise you and more. Game one in Carolina. Did they win the division? I think they won the division. Well, game one in Carolina. First period as Sebastian Ajo is already making me regret shitting on him, saying the defenseman is better, which I still live to that, even though he scored a power play goal. 15-8 to eight on the shot clock. Second period, Evan Rodriguez has a big period, scoring a goal and then a power play goal. But Ryan Zingle and Brett Pesci are going to bring that one goal lead back. 26 to 19 on the shot clock. All right, third period, let's go. Let's go. Evan Rodriguez is finally showing up, which is nice to see. Very nice to see. Hopefully this can get him going as power play opportunity for us. And we blow it. That was a big power play. Carolina's racking up the shots. Come on, boys. Last. Fetch with that power play goal to end it. Uh, who took that last middle penalty? You can't. You cannot take a penalty right then and there. 
Oh, Bluger, come on, buddy. You can't take that penalty. You cannot take that penalty at that time. All right, we had a tough game one. We, we had a tough game one in round one. Now we had a tough game run. That was words. That was a good attempt at words. All right, game two, still in Carolina at PNC Arena. Not the good PNC Stadium. Uh, Chad Ruedel is going to lead off scoring. Chad Ruedel. Okay, that's weird. But Andre Sechikov is going to tie it 11 to 8 in the shot clock as we lead. Second period is a big one for the Penguins. Sidney Crosby is going to score. Slavin will tie it with a power play goal. But Patrick Hornquist is going to strike, followed by Bukestad late in the period. Gentle will strike, but McGinn will at least get one back. Carolina down by two as we are leading 26 to 18 the shot clock. Okay, let's batten down the hatches, get one more goal, and then play pure defense. Play the trap, boys. As Jared McCann does one of the things requests, he's sitting right in front of the net there. Batten down the hatches now. Power play opportunity for Carolina as we kill it. A big kill. Another power play opportunity. We kill that one too. And we take game two after... Shutting her down in the third period in a big second period. Good job, boys. Good job, boys. All right. Game three in Pittsburgh. Patrick Hornquist looking like he wants to win a con Smythe. Uh, game three. Oh, boy. Who will take the lead in this series as Crosby and Hornquist want it to be the Penguins. Leading off with power play goal and then a normal goal. 11 to 10 on the shot clock. Second period. Taro Taro Biden is going to cut the lead to one on Pavel Francis. Where is Matt Murray? That's not good. That is that is not good. That is not good. Murray's been playing very well. As another shorthanded goal for Andrew Shaw. Patrick Hornquist is going to get a goal himself. We have 33 shots on the board. Carolina has got 23. Can we lock this game down? Can we lock it down? And it looks like we will as a last minute goal by Nick Bukestad. 42 shots. Big game. As we take the series lead 2 to 1. What's the status on Murray? I guess he's good. Oh, no, I canceled. Tang's fully healed. I guess Murray maybe got a playable injury. Tanev has returned. That's good to see. Did Lafferty get a goal? Did he? I think he did. No, he didn't. Oh, I'm thinking of uh, Ruedel. That's who it was. Tanev goes in. How's the defense doing? Tim Heed. There we go, buddy. He's playing his way back in with two assists in three games plus three. Latang, four points. Petrie doing well. Marino finally pulling up that plus minus. Pedersen, there's more to offensively be desired, but he's playing good defensively. He had an awful season offensively, but I mean, you're pretty offensive talented too for a defenseman, so I don't know. That's strange. It's Chad Ruedel with his one goal and then back to a zero. Matt Murray's playing well, but Fransu stepped in when it mattered most. Good, good, good. Goaltending by committee. Well, we're not doing that right now, but... Imagine if that were to happen. I mean, Vancouver basically did that in 2011. They had Schneider and Luongo rotating. Goaltending by committee. The same with the Islanders last year. With uh, Grice and... Um, not Halak. Grice and uh, Leonard. Alright, first period game four at... Derek Broussard is going to show up with a power play goal, but Jake Gensel is going to tie this one right back up. 11 to 10 in the shot clock. We lead third period as Taro Taravine is going to score a power play goal, and Svechikov is going to score one shortly after. But Crosby is going to score a goal, and then Tana is going to score one late in the period to equal this game up to 3-3 as Carolina is heavily dominating on the shot clock now, 26-18. We only had seven shots up here, but scored two goals. That tells you the state of Mrazek right now. Third period. Now that I said that, Mrazek is not going to let in goal for the rest of the series. As Ryan is in goal, going to give Carolina the 4-3 lead. Oh, God, I hope that Mrazek comment doesn't 
come around to bite me. Powerful opportunity for Carolina as they don't connect, but they score anyways. Bashan Ajo, a power play for them as they don't connect, but not Martin Akash just ends all hope. As it's serious, it's tied at two. Okay, tied at two now. Now we are heading back to Carolina. Patrick Hornquist is two points per game. Dallas has swept Minnesota. Dallas has is refusing to lose games. They are the team to beat right now. Eight games in a row. Vancouver looking like they might fall to Anaheim. And same with Toronto or same with um Florida to Toronto. I think we saw Toronto last year, so if we were to move on, it would be pretty much the same other than Philly in the first round over Washington. But will we return? Game five might decide that. Game five in Carolina. First period. No goals for the first time in a while. As we lead the shot clock nine to six. Second period. No goals. Once I made that Mirazic comment, he hasn't let in a goal since. Oh my god. We're watching his best hockey. Each of us. Uh, we're leading the shot clock 19 to 16. Third period, some one wall's got to break soon. Carolina power play opportunity, we kill it. One dam has to burst soon. You can have goaltending duels all you want, but at some point, one's got to blow. We're just trading shots back and forth as the period wanes. Chris Letang. Chris with a last minute. Goal, one minute, eight seconds left in the period. Chris Letang pots a big goal. As we also had a power play before that period ended. So, Carolina got frustrated after that. Oh, Chris Letang. Good job, buddy. Him and Murray. Him and Murray had amazing games. As Anaheim does finish off Vancouver and will play Dallas in the next round. And Toronto, uh, Florida lives to fight another day. Florida lives to fight another day. Game six as the moment we have been waiting for. Evgeny Malkin has returned. As who will we? Bukestad will be taken out. And Rodriguez. Uh, you only had that one game where you scored those two goals. Uh, but you could make a case uh, sack Ashton Reese. I know you only played seven minutes, but it's three minor penalties and uh, one assist. Uh, that's an interesting case. But we need we need good old Czar. We need him on the penalty kill. Nope, we gotta place in Gino. In goes Gino. As down here, in goes Bukestad, which I might bump him up to that second line. His Rust is not playing well. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Missed you, buddy. We, we've missed you. Ah, it, you know, it takes pressure off that first line now. Uh... Does this change anything? Uh, we'll leave Zucker with Crosby. Gensel with Malkin. Dad doesn't really play on that second line. Doesn't play well on it. Okay, we'll we'll leave the lines like this. Who's the better center? Bukestad or McCann? McCann. Shaw, we'll have you play on the right. We'll keep you on the right side. How are we doing defensive? Tim Heed. Three assists now. Actually, yeah, three assists now and a plus four. Nice. Nice. Good. The defense has battened down the hatches other than Chad Ruedel, who continues to be a minus to spite me and to spite God. Oh, boy. Game six in, Car in Pittsburgh against Carolina. Can we end it and make our second conference finals appearance? First period, it is scoreless again. The goalies, Murray hasn't given up a goal in four straight periods. As we lead the shot clock, 
not or 11 to 9 second period Derek Broussard finally solves the Matt Murray with the power play goal but Jane Gensel is going to tie this back up as we go into the third period tied 1-1 Carolina leads the shot clock 21 to 20 Spashnaho scores in the first shot of the second period don't worry Sidney Crosby gets it right back we're trading power play opportunities left and right as Feshnikov connects and then Aho is going to get on the board then Hamilton oh this is this is a collapse a shot throws in a garbage goal all right we're up game rough game boys as we head back to Carolina I think that's our first loss at home no the second we lost one against Carolina earlier in the series all right, as now we go back to Carolina, Game 7. And to decide who is playing Toronto in the next round. Will it be us again, or will Carolina finally make that deep playoff run again? Oh, boy. Let's get the sim going. Uh, I don't want to change anything. No, we've done very well with this team. Do you know we need you to, we need you to take over and do what you can do? First period is scoreless again. We lead the shot clock 12 to 9. Second period as we are going to strike. Sidney Crosby gets on the board. It is 26 to 17 on the shot clock as we lead. Third period. Powerful opportunity. Can we connect? We cannot. That's big for Carolina as that's even bigger. Nakosh is going to tie it as we are out shooting them heavily. Oh, but Mrazic is holding. I should have. I shouldn't have made that Mrazic comment. I, I've eaten my words. As Michael Furland gets a last-minute goal, and uh, Mrazic steals it. That is the story of the night. After a very sloppy start, Mrazic pulls it together, takes Carolina to the second round. We outshot them by 19. Carolina wins 2-1. That's... You know, it's one of those strange instances where you'll see this in hockey a lot. A big-name player will get injured. Teams, team plays well. They'll play good. Penguins did it this year. They'll play good. The moment that star player comes back, they start slumping. I think that's how it happened to us. We got Geno back, and uh, that hurt. That really hurt us. As we lose in the second round, and for the first time in history, we will not attend the back-to-back -back Stanley Cup final in back-to-back -back years. Oh, man. That had to end at some point. But uh, this is going to be an interesting offseason. Depending how everything goes, uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll wrap this up here. We start the next episode, Simmon. See who wins the Stanley Cup. But uh, yeah, we fall to Carolina in the second round after beating Philly in round one. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and uh, above all else, don't get shut out by Peter Morazic that bad. Like Jesus, Jesus, well we didn't get shut out, but. Should have never made that Morazic comment. That's what I'm saying. All right. Take care. Love you.